meeting. Appreciate it. Uh, we met our quorum now, so we can get rolling here. Um, there, in the back there, there is uh, minutes from last year's meeting and uh, financial report. So you can look that over. Is to promote responsible and ethical co-hunting practices, support other archery organizations that do the same, bring together those interested in traditional archery equipment and skills, and to ensure the continuation of the traditions and skills passed down by our traditional archery forefathers. As I've uh, mentioned in the past, that this is what I referred to back. I have a question. How does it? How does what we want to do uh, meet our tradition, our uh, mission statement. So that, that's uh, pretty valuable to me for my uh, Wisconsin Bow Hunting Heritage Foundation, which is our Wisconsin Bow Hunting Museum. Uh, we have a table here today, and uh, over the years I've put together uh, uh, a lot of Wisconsin traditional archers and memorabilia. Uh, also with the help of Don Catterday and he donated some things and um, trying to get a nice display of Wisconsin traditional archers memorabilia. And one of the things that uh, Wisconsin traditional archers did in the 90s was they sponsored WTA sheets. And uh, Gene Sequin during that time period made leather bobs that were specific to each shoot. And uh, we're trying to get all of those together for, for a good display. Um, if you stop by the table, you'll see the ones that we already have. If you have ones that you're willing to donate that we don't already have, uh, I sure would appreciate putting all those together. And again, those are all the shoots pretty much from, uh, I have one that doesn't have a year on it. It's from Amber Archers. I assume that's 1992. Um, but then they go from 93, I think, maybe to 99. I don't have any 99s, but I do have some 90. You can stop by the book, and if there are some you have that you'd be willing to donate, I sure would appreciate it. Thank you. Right. How many, yes. How many total are there? I have no idea. <laughs> um, I probably have maybe 15 or 16 there, and I know there's at least twice that many. So, thanks. East corner, free clothes and cool stuff for kids. So I had it in Stump Shooter, in case you missed it. We're over in the corner, came across some stuff that doesn't fit me anymore. Uh, thought maybe some of you might have the same, so please send kids over there. We got all kinds of all kinds of stuff. I offered some suggestions on how to pay it forward, but it's up to you know individuals, you know, and their uh, what they want to do with it. Uh, also, I have some. I don't know if anybody bought tree stands, you always get the free tree harness with it. Any adults need any stop over? I got a bunch of them. So, uh, free stuff, head on over there. Some of you like to keep track of uh, my sister in law, Colonel Nelson. She's completing her assignment this July down at uh, Fort Leavenworth, where she was the brigade commander, uh, camp commandant for there. She's moving on to uh, Colorado Springs in July. So, she's going from 1,100 soldiers to a staff of uh, she'll be part of, but not uh, a subset of NORAD. So if, any, if anything major hits the homeland, her group helps to coordinate a uh, quick response to help local law enforcement as they might need it. So she'll be that her new assignment should be out there for three years. Uh, Operation Sergeant Han is still out in Fort Lewis. Stay in touch with him occasionally, so he's probably coming out for rotation pretty soon as well. So he enjoyed the stuff we sent him in Iraq, and he and I just kind of stay in touch a little bit here and there. Uh, I think that's it. So please send the kids over. Uh, they don't have to be yours, they can be anybody's kids, and everything over there is free. Just take it with uh, In the social medias lately, there's been uh, a new. They call it an air gun. It's it's the newest threat, I guess. It's uh, Crossman and maybe others have come out with a BB gun that shoots arrows. That's the best I could describe it. But it shoots on, Jerry, it was, were they talking about 450 feet per second? And we're talking about uh, the hell of a shooter here. They're 
talking that it's easier to shoot. It's uh, it's smaller than a crossbow, so you know what we're seeing is the next biggest best thing. Um, what I don't see is anything about it being a bow, but they reportedly are trying to get it approved for archery seasons. This is just early on, but I guess what I'm looking for is this is probably the, the right venue to start uh, talking to the state and preempt some of this before they start getting knocking on our door. Maybe we can start making some uh, motions that, hey, you know, this has nothing to do with archery other than an arrow. Um, just as an aside, I, I don't know if any of you guys have done any of the math uh, regarding crossbow and the success rates. Uh, we've only had it for a couple of years now. Uh, the success rate for uh, crossbows this year, uh, I'm not a mathematician and I didn't even try to get perfect, but it sure looks like uh, the success rate for what they call vertical bows is around 30%. A lot of that has to do with the compound guys, which, whatever, that's fine. Uh, so, archery, vertical bows are 30%-ish. Guns this year were like about 34% success rate. And uh, it appears that the crossbow group was about 53% success rate. So, you know, whatever the crossbow is, but what we were worried about is playing out, at least according to my numbers, which again, I'm no mathematician, I just put some things together. Uh, it's just background information, that's all. Wisconsin Bowhunters is the start. It's, uh, it's the start of um, archery in Wisconsin, for that matter. Okay, with Roy Case and the, the crew. Um, so it's something where, consider joining Wisconsin Bowhunters. A couple of reasons. One is what uh, uh, gentleman just talked about. We have, right, Ryan, we have a legislative person that watches that stuff and also gets involved with it. Uh, I don't, the WTA doesn't have a legislative person prohibited from doing that. Okay. So the Wisconsin Bowhunters is fighting for you. A lot of people got out of the Wisconsin Bowhunters because of the crossbow situation because it wasn't handled to their satisfaction. Well, that's, it was handled in a way <clears throat> that we knew crossbows were eventually going to come in. But the thing is, we had to be careful with what was done at Wisconsin Bowhunters. So my point for being out here is a commercial again. If you have a Wisconsin Bowhunter member, you need to be in order to be actively pursuing getting rid of that other stuff that um, you know that's going to be coming out. This was brought up about the Wisconsin Bowhunters. This is uh, their 75th year, and of course I was born 75 years ago, but I don't think we started it because of me. <laughs> But anyway, uh, another one that was important, and it was Alvin Leopold, so I didn't know about him. But at this time, I'd like to make a motion that we donate uh, some money to the Wisconsin Mohawkers Association, because I think they're part of us, too. And I'd like to donate, uh, or the WTA to donate $300 to the WBH for their 75th year. $100 to the museum and $100 to the land trust. They have a, uh, a farm that was given to them and they're trying to develop it into a, I think, a kid's hunting place out there. So that would be a total of $500 to the uh, Wisconsin owners. Is there a second? Second. Okay. Plan, and, not, and now we went through two years, so it should be talked about, so we can still bring it up. As far as this political thing, and I could ask Brian, he was on the original board, and I never felt, when they said political, it meant 
we weren't going to back this political guy or this political party or whatever, but if, if you bring something up, a cause, voting on crossbows or something, I never felt that was political. I mean, that wasn't the way we just, we talked about it. What do you think, Brian? No, you're right there, but the wording of the bylaws wasn't, didn't, didn't really specify that. Maybe we're going to have to get that changed. But that's, that was the intent, that, was the intent. that we weren't going to support this candidate or that candidate. But if there's a cause out there, like crossbows or something, that, that wasn't a candidate. So that's, that's what it was about. That looks like Rod. Is that Rod? It is Rod. How's it going? Good. Good. This is basically you can buy five tickets for five dollars. Uh -huh. Doug, how's it going? <laughs> Talk. Talk a lot. How's the game working? So basically, this must be a dole raffle. Must be. Must be. Are you doing something illegal? <laughs> Go ahead, admit it. <laughs> no, we self-incriminate anyway, so it don't matter. Self-destruct? So you got to we have to be TG13. All right. <laughs> Boy, hey, just keep Vicky out of it, man. <laughs> She's taking a nap. Yeah, if you put this 
called it a double, a double cam. Outdoor sport. And this is the way that um, he designed I believe it benefits the kids by getting them outdoors. So much of everything Hello, how are you doing? Good, are you taking pictures? Or no, a video. Oh, you are? Yes, yes. Well, good deal. It's a pack of tundra sock. In Wisconsin. This is going to be video. Oh, video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm okay, and how are you doing here? I'm doing well, thank you. Yeah. Now, is this all for kids? This is all for kids, and uh, my husband used to take our niece and nephew, and they're all grown up now. So this is what you and the WTA is doing? Well, my husband had the idea, and yes. then other people have brought in some things that they wanted to share with okay. Young, okay. young hunters and anybody who can use some supplies. There's a few used clothing items. And are they, is, is it available for anyone under age 70? <laughs> if you're a child at heart, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I think I am. Are you a mentor for anyone? Hello. And how are we doing here at the WTA? I am just trying to make sure people know what we offer. You tried, I didn't want to you tried to evade me, but it didn't work. Okay. 
Is this a race sometimes or what? We say, you are giving me life and someday I am going to repay. I will be put there in the ground. I'll cause the grass to grow. And the deer will eat the grass. And you'll be repaid. So thank you for giving me your life. It goes something like that. A little more complicated than that. <laughs> so there, now that I've uh, bored you to death, I'll get on with the prayer. Now how? Machuatok. Mamawako. No. Nimaso masak. Nikatamanos kakikita me yos yope. We told them, Kine, Chikwana put me back in my nominee at National, and I came. Mishayam, and then I switched in Mokamane at the same swim. The Kataman was Kakikitim, so Alk, so Patchki Nortum, Mamani Kako, and then I am a Yosiope. Kako sakacho mo ke kake natama ne kato e paketman ko tatnes in this matukuku kia ko tatnes ain kamaka wa kech komaso maso to ka kono wa ami komaso maso to kono wa wa kech koko maso kamako na komaso maso a kum ki kachke manuak kana kes seke maka a kanum mana ko oti yo wa alak ene natnama kacha sakacha mo ke ki masu masu no akuski ke na to a kum ni skutman spami in this case ko shikta kata sakacha mo ke no ikan inena kana Skimoka ha enka. Sawano enka. Skinik enka. Oji kachia enka. Aspami ames keshiko. Eios kitakim in amasewa nini. Anami enesikihi. And it's so past from my to see in the cortex nisa alako manaka mana. Maoni kako. Asechikimaka. Baki nikako in his first. Eu mas, o amano que está no manto alto, mal nem caco, nem os que esmem nem queia, e eu se que te cama co, mamava manto coa pac, mamava me pano, e nisso parte para matar sia, e nisso manto coa coa que era, cato hoje para pesia, só mano a mitis sué a the town of Makamak. The Totamak. Well, I'm going to get down in the Maso Masak. I don't catch me in the case, the case may not care. So, perhaps I'm going to chase in the tour, I'm going to get away. And the other match, I'm going to get away from the tour, and I'm going to get away from the tour. So, I'm going to get away from the tour, and I'm going to get away from the tour. So when I'm here, case when Kako matters sa a safety and a yosu pe, me ship ta Kako matters case a safety we are on Marco O.T. Kake no homo we are, wa keep me Kako in this bus to say, maka. Not to mo we are, so patch away me tia, so patch for matters here. And it can call Kakanum the own Kikitun Sayani. And it can call Kakanum the own Kais no Machitak or Tashikiman. Now how? In it me. Now how? Mitisia Kwan Mani Wilk. Why one Kitana in this case be a tie, eh, oh mas? Why one? Thank you, that means.
we have all the kids who are 12 and under come up for a little special pride. Where all these kids come from? Look at the future of archery. Here they are. Thank you for all the work you've done on, on these awards. Thank you. 